Hi, I'm Wes. In this video, we'll learn how to create a profile and design vertical curves in Civil 3D. We'll continue working with the alignment that we created in the previous video. So we can see our surface here on the screen and here in Toolspace. And we can see our alignment here on the screen and here in Toolspace. We need both of these objects before we can create a profile. To create a profile, we can go to the ribbon at the top of the screen, under the Home tab, in the section called Create Design, we can click the drop-down arrow beside Profile. Here we have a number of options for profile creation, and we can click on the Create Profile from Surface option. The Create Profile from Surface window will open, and here we can start to choose the parameters for the profile. First, we'll select the alignment we want to use. We only have one in this file called Elm Valley Road Alignment, and we'll select that alignment. And we can select a surface. Again, we only have one here, so we'll select the Elm River surface. With the surface selected, we need to click Add to add the surface to our profile list. We can see the surface gets added to the window at the bottom of the screen here. We can choose the start and end station of our alignment. The default here is to start and end station with the alignment, which is what we want. If we wanted to only show part of the alignment, we can change the stations here to show whichever part we want. Now we have our profile parameters set up and we can prepare to draw the profile by clicking the draw in profile view button. In this window, we can see our alignment listed at the top, and we can give our profile a name. We want to name it something unique that describes this specific profile. As we work through projects, we often have multiple profiles and need to easily be able to choose a specific one. So we'll call this Elm Valley Road Profile. We can add a description and choose the profile view style from a list of default or custom style options. And here we'll choose the default profile view style. We can click next and are given the option to change the station range. Again, we can leave this as the automatic settings so our profile shows the entire length of our alignment. We can click next and are given options to change the profile view height. Again, the automatic settings are set to span from the lowest elevation to the highest elevation so we can leave the automatic settings here. We can click next again and review the profile display options. We'll leave the default options here and click next again. And in this window, we can choose the data band or the information that's displayed in our profile view. We can select the drop down at the top of the screen to choose a band set. And here we'll use the EG-FG elevations and stations band set. We can click next to get to the last page of this window where we can add profile hatch options. These options aren't necessary for the project, so we'll skip adding hatch and click the create profile view button. This will put us back into model space and asks us where we want to place the profile. We'll click somewhere in the, dra in the drawing that we want to place the profile, typically either above or to the right hand side of our surface. So now we can see the profile that we've created. What we're looking at here is the ground surface elevation along the length of our alignment. So this isn't the top of the road. We'll need to go in now and actually design the road along this profile. If we click on our alignment on the surface, we can move it and we'll see that the profile that we created is automatically updating based on where we move our alignment. So now we need to go in and design the vertical aspect of our road. To start our design, again we'll go to the ribbon at the top of the screen. Under the Home tab, in Create Design, we'll select the Profile drop-down. And this time we're going to click Profile Creation Tools. Once we click Profile Creation Tools, Civil 3D asks us to select a profile. So here we'll click on the profile that we just created. A new window will open called create profile dash draw new. 
Here we can see the alignment the profile is based on, and we can give a name to the profile that we're drawing. I'll call this Elm Valley Road CL, and CL meaning center line. We can add a description and choose a design profile style. Here we'll choose the design profile style. We can also choose which labels will be applied to our design under the profile label set option. And here we'll choose the complete label set option and hit OK. Now a new toolbar opens called the profile layout tools window or toolbar where we have a series of design tools. First, we'll go to the option on the left of the toolbar and click the drop down arrow and select curve settings. In the curve settings window that opens, we can specify either a length or K value for both or either a crest or sag curve. For this example, I'll set the crest curve to a length of 250 meters and set the sag curve to a length of 175 meters. And note that these values are the minimums and also that we can always go back and change these values as needed. We can hit OK and go back to the leftmost option in the toolbar. And now we'll select to draw tangents with curves. So now we can go and actually draw our design. I'll snap to the start of the alignment, then click along the profile to roughly follow the existing elevations. And finally, I'll snap to the end of the alignment. We can see that our profile is now drawn and the label set we selected is applied. If we zoom in on a label, we can see the high point station and elevation, vertical point of intersection station and elevation, the K value, and the length of the vertical curve. We can also see along the dimension lines, the beginning and end of curve station and elevations. We can drag the labels so that they are easier to read. We can also see that the slope of the road is displayed along the road profile. And we can check to make sure that the slopes meet the minimum and maximum road slopes for our project. Here I have one that is too steep, so I can modify the profile to reduce that slope. When I modify this profile, we can see that the labels of the profile are automatically updating to match the design. Next, we can review our design or pull data from the design easily by clicking the Profile Grid View button. Here, a window opens that details the parameters of our design. We can use this window to modify the design, such as changing the road slope or K value. So now we've completed our profile design. One last piece to look at is the profile view style. If you're using Civil 3D default styles, the text might be tiny or at the wrong rotation for how you want to show your data. To change these settings, we need to modify the display style. First though, we can change the display of annotative text by changing the display scale in model space. We'll start by selecting an appropriate scale in model space. And next we can go to paper space and set up our profile on a sheet. And it's here that we wanna make sure that our labels are displayed correctly for printing or plotting so that we can correctly convey this information in our design. I have this sheet set up as ArchD at a scale of one to 5,000. So we can edit the style by clicking on our profile, then right clicking and selecting Edit Profile View Style. This opens a window with a series of tabs detailing different aspects of the profile style. Under the Information tab, we can change the profile name and review some of the creation details. Under graph, we can modify the scale ratio or the vertical to horizontal ratio. Here we have a 10 to one exaggeration. So horizontal scale is 10 times larger than the vertical scale. Under grid, we can change how the grid is displayed, turn on or off the clipping settings and add grid padding. Under title annotation, we can change the title and location of the title and size of that text. Now under the horizontal and vertical axis tabs, 
We can modify the settings for the major tech, minor techs, and geometry tech details. We can turn on and off layers in the display tab and finally review all the settings in the summary tab. We can edit the label styles by clicking on one of the labels, right clicking and selecting edit labels. We can change the text height of our labels by going to the style column, second from the left, clicking on the tag beside the style label, then clicking on the edit button beside the style. And at the top of the screen, we need to manually select each element of the label and change the text height. With all the label text heights updated, we can click apply and okay to see the text heights update. We can also click on the band at the bottom of the profile, right click and select edit band labels. Here we can edit the band height, text boxed width, offset from band and the text box orientation. We can change the size of the text by clicking compose label and changing the text height. Thank you for watching this video. In the rest of the series, we'll learn how to create an assembly, build a corridor, and then complete a cut fill analysis.